Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to News on ITN with me Bhakti Abe Surya. To begin with, let's take a look at the stories making headlines this morning. The US is ready to forge a strong relationship with Sri Lanka. President appoints the new National Salaries Commission. The first corona death outside the Asian region was reported from France. Samagi Janabalavegya is to contest the election under the swan symbol if the elephant symbol is problematic. In news from overseas, Yemen's Houthis show wreckage of purported downed tornado warplane. And now for the news in detail. First up in local news, U.S. Congressman Amy Berra and George Holding met Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha yesterday. They discussed ways of strengthening relations in a number of sectors. Congressman Berra said that the U.S. see opportunity to forge a strong relationship with Sri Lanka. Congressman Berra represents California's 7th Congressional District and is currently a member of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha said that Sri Lanka commends U.S. for starting investment for economic development in the country. The National Salaries Commission has been formed to provide guidance and assistance to the government in formulating and executing a national salaries policy. President Gotabe Rajapaksha has appointed this commission. Upon the appointment of this new commission, the National Salaries and Cadre Commission that was subjected to numerous amendments from the 18th of March 2019 will hereby be suspended. The National Salaries Commission, headed by Upali Vijay Veera, has 15 other members. The first corona death outside the Asian region was reported from France yesterday. It is significant that even though Europe, with high health facilities, failed to prevent this death. Sri Lanka has been able to save the life of the Chinese woman who was the only patient reported from Sri Lanka. Over 67,000 have been infected, while 1,526 in China have succumbed to the COVID-19 virus. WHO and Chinese government has started a joint mission to control the virus. 258 cases and one death have been reported from Japan as well. Many patients have commended Sri Lanka's efforts taken to control the COVID-19 virus. Meanwhile, a special mass was held under the patronage of Archbishop, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit at the St. Anthony's Church in Kochikade to invoke blessings on the virus-affected persons. In more local news, it is reported that the Samagi Jana Balavega has been decided to contest the election under the sworn symbol if they face any illegal barriers, barriers rather, regarding the elephant symbol. Former General Secretary of UNP, Tisatanayaka, said that majority have expressed consent for the sworn symbol. A discussion to decide the symbol of the new alliance was held at the UNP headquarters yesterday. Five members each from the Ranil Vikramasinghe and Sajid Premadasa factions took part in this meeting. Another discussion on the same topic was held at the opposition leader's Colombo residence. No final decision has been taken at this discussion. The World Health Organization has declared the outbreak of the novel coronavirus as COVID-19 as a global emergency. WHO's country representative, Dr. Mrs. Razia Pendez, exclusively had discussions with the ITN newsroom in this connection. Well, Dr. The World Health Organization has declared the virus is a global threat. What's your concern on this and why the world is so vulnerable to the spread of virus? Let me start by saying this, uh, the new disease that we are discussing today, which has a name, it's called COVID-19. And this is caused by coronaviruses, which are widely present in the environment. And generally, they are res the reservoir are animals. And once every while, they jump to humans and cause diseases. It means that this is an extraordinary event where there is a risk of international spread of the disease. And it requires a coordinated international response 
to contain and uh, ensure that we do not have a widespread of this disease globally. Once it is declared as a public health emergency of international concern, WHO comes up with a set of temporary recommendations uh, for travel, trade, quarantine of the cases, screening, diagnostics, and it allows for, again, global solidarity to come together to have a more synergistic and coordinated response. Although declaration of the public health emergency of international concern is not, to, uh, is not a, a call for financing, however, donors do tend to trigger their financing based on declaration of public health emergency of international concern. The other aspect is that for countries who do not yet have a case, decla declaration of the public health emergency of international concern, it allows those countries to also institute measures for preparing to the, in case there is a spread to those countries, especially countries with weaker health systems, they can be provided support through WHO and other development partners to beef up their preparedness and response capacities. Finally, in local news, the government has strongly objected to the United States' decision to ban Army Commander Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva and his family members entering the country. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs stresses that such a ban is undeserved as the allegations against him are based on unverified information. He has been accused of violating human rights when he was leading the 58th Brigade during the Civil War. Sri Lanka asked the U.S. government to review this decision. Meanwhile, Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva has stressed that he will never apply for a U.S. visa. With that, we wrap up our today's edition of ITA News. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now and have a pleasant day.